the Silva and this is my YouTube channel, uh, Living the Silva Loca. This is the first video that I'll be doing and this is my first time. I'm very new at this and I will be actually making a cake from Trinidad. My friend, one of my best friends who is a chef, gave me the recipe and encouraged me to try it. So I'm not a chef by any means, I'm not a baker at all, but I'll be kind of following his um, directions and trying to make this cake. Uh, so for my first video, I hope you do enjoy it. I'd love for you to uh, subscribe to my channel below. Okay, so this is what you need for your cake batter. Two cups all-purpose flour, two teaspoon ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon nutmeg freshly grated, a half teaspoon ground allspice, two teaspoon baking powder, one cup unsalted butter, one and a half cup dark brown sugar or white sugar, six dark or rather six large eggs, a half teaspoon vanilla extract, a half teaspoon almond extract. Okay, so one of the things that I forgot to mention to you was that you needed one lemon, uh, like one large lemon like this, and you need to grate it. And it looks like this when it's grated. Can you see it? And you add this to the eggs, your six eggs. Uh, basically, it's to prevent it from getting um, uh, fresh. Okay, so we're finished beating the eggs and this is what it looks like. It's really fluffy. You can see, right? Um, the consistency of the eggs, it's like, like really, really fluffy. So that's great. So um, the next thing that I'm going to do is um, uh, actually I'm going to beat the sugar with the butter. And we need a cup and a half of sugar, brown sugar um, or white sugar. You can use white sugar as well. Um, as well as, um, um, I think I'll use two cups or not think, it's two cups flour. In a bowl, you can see, a bowl, like this size. Um, I combine the flour, which is like the two cups flour, um, the cinnamon, which is just like a half teaspoon cinnamon, with a half teaspoon nutmeg, allspice, and baking powder. And I'm gonna set this aside for later. Okay, so I'm at the critical part of this cake baking process where I have to blend the sugar and the butter. And this is like the most difficult part, I think, of baking any cake. <laughs> um, so um, I have here in my bowl, I have um, um, a, half pound of, a half pound of butter and um, I put a cup and a half of sugar. Um, it depends if you don't wanna make it too sweet or if you wanna make it a little bit sweeter. Um, but I use like a cup and a half because I like things a little bit sweeter. Um, and I am going to basically rub out the butter. Um, so I have a, a hand mixer here that I'm using and I switched and I kind of mix it around like that, which is like really fluffy. And now I'm going to add uh, my eggs uh, that I whipped, my six eggs that I've already whipped up and it's nice and fluffy. I'm gonna actually add it to this mixture and then blend uh, the, the mixer with the mixer. And after I blend, then I will also add my flour, which I had set aside before. So add that as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I am um, finished with the mixing. I keep looking at the, because I'm not using the selfie mode, so if you notice that I'm looking off to the side, it's because I'm still getting used to this, okay? Sorry. Um, so this is what it looks like um, mixed with the sugar and the butter and the flour. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add the, um, I'm gonna add some uh, almond extract. Sorry, vanilla extract, not almond extract. But I'm also going to add almond extract, <laughs> as well as some browning, because the browning is what's going to make it a bit dark, which is um, what the cake is called. It's called the Trinidad black cake. So, and this is what makes it dark. Although I think in Trinidad they do something with sugar, where they burn it and stuff, but that is a little bit too complicated for me. So uh, the other option is to actually use browning. and. Um, 
for in terms of the vanilla extract you just need um, I think a half not I think you need a half uh, teaspoon as well as for the almond extract as well and then for the browning um, you need um, sorry you need like two spoons of this, this um, I added the browning and this is what it looks like it's not too dark but um, there was like two large uh, spoons um, of the browning um, and then there is one more thing that needs to be added to this which is um, these fruits that I've been soaking for about six months and it's what's inside is raisins, prunes, um, currants, cherries and they've been soaking mm, it smells really really strong um, in uh, some Cuban rum with brandy and some sherry it's very very strong so this actually goes into this and this is like the final mixing that we have to do and then once that's done we mix it thoroughly then I will turn the oven on or actually I should turn the oven on now at 350 degrees and so it can start preheating um, and then I have a pan a cake pan over there and you'll see it in the next um, when I do the next clip that's already greased um, with butter and some flour I'm going to put the cake in the oven and the rack is on the middle um, because this cake should not be right on top you need it in the middle and in she goes okay so it's been one hour and 45 minutes and the cake is ready it's done it's well it's not ready but it's baked um, so I'm gonna take it out of the oven and then let it cool for five minutes then what I'll do is um, take it out of the pan and then generally what people do when they bake this kind of cake is they pour uh, some more alcohol uh, on the top. The uh, well, it's not sherry, it's um, liqueur. Um, but if you have sherry, you can so pour it. I can cut it now, uh, just to taste a small piece to see, to show you what it looks like. And there you go. This is the Trinidad black cake. And uh, yeah, so this is it. Baking for an hour and 45 minutes. This is the, the final or the finished product. And I am going to taste it because just to let you know, it's, it's mo very moist inside. Mm. Mm. It's very good. It's still a little bit hot. So I leave it to, to cool overnight. You can, um, I actually have this cover that I can use to cover it, but for now, I'll just leave it open and let it continue to cool. And then in the morning, you can actually seal it with uh, some kind of saran wrap or parchment paper, just to keep the moisture in, and then you just cover it and then put it away. So that's it for my first video. Um, I do hope you like it. Please uh, remember to subscribe to my channel so that I can do more of these videos. As I said before, this is my first video. And so I'll be doing a lot more, I'll be getting better and better at it, of course, as I get more comfortable. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know your comments below. You can also let me know how you're passing the time being in quarantine, because that's the reason why I started this channel. Um, I have been in uh, quarantine for the last two weeks, um, a little bit more than a week. And in coming up with things to do, I decided to start this channel uh, for fun. And uh, hopefully um, I'll be doing a lot more videos, as I said before. So thank you again. Please subscribe. Gratitude.
Ciao.